Chapter 13, Glory Years. Jackie played for the Dodgers for 10 years. During those years, he and Rachel had two more children, Sharon and David. They moved from Brooklyn to a house in Queens <clears throat> and then to a bigger house in Connecticut. <coughs> Jackie wrote two books about his life. He starred in a movie, The Jackie Robinson Story. With Jackie, the Dodgers won six National League pennants. Time and time again, they went up against the Yankees in famous Subway Series. Time and time again, they lost. The year 1949 was Jackie's greatest season. He was named Most Valuable Player and led the National League in hitting and stolen bases. A year later, Branch Rickey left the Dodgers. It was a blow to Jackie, who had thought of Rickey almost as a father. Times were changing. Slowly, more black players were being signed to the major league teams. Don Newcomb and Roy Campanella both joined the Dodgers. They became All-Stars too. The Cleveland Indians and the St. Louis Browns both signed black players soon after Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier. During those years, the Civil Rights Movement grew stronger. People fought for blacks to be treated fairly. Even though Jackie was highest paid Dodgers of all the highest paid Dodgers player of all time, in the South, he still couldn't stay in the same hotels as white teammates. As time went on, Jackie decided that he had kept his promise to Branch Rickey. Now he could speak up off and on the field. Jackie began to shout at umpires. He talked back to rival teams. Some people thought that he was too loud, but others defended him. They said Jackie was doing what any player would do. It was just making the news because of his color. In 1955, Jackie was 36 years old. He was turning gray and losing speed. He was playing outfield now. People thought his best days were over. Once again, the Dodgers were facing the Yankees in the World Series. And in the very first game, something amazing happened. Jackie Robinson stole home right under the glove of catcher Yogi Berra. It was a hard-fought series that went to a seventh game. Jackie sat out in that one. Game seven turned out to be a Dodgers victory. The Brooklyn, bu Brooklyn Bums had won their first World Series, and how sweet that was against the Bronx Bombers. The Yankees. In 1913, a team called the Highlanders moved to the Bronx and was renamed the New York Yankees. When Babe Ruth joined the team seven years later, the Yankees became the strongest team in baseball, and the Bronx Bombers have built on that legacy ever since. They're the team other fans love to hate. Why? They've won more championships than any team in any sports ever. Some of the most famous names in baseball have worn Yankees pinstripes. Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, and Mickey Mantle, just to name a few. To this day, the Yankees are the team to beat.